it's hard to put into words the magnitude of feeling like I had a family who cared about me for who I was and who was fighting for me spiritually and emotionally. We started coming to our house because the dorms didn't serve um, Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. And so we had Sunday dinner at our house with, I don't know, 10 to 40 people. <laughs> we had five little kids. You would come into the middle of the chaos. I'd stand on one side of the bed, you'd stand on the other. We folded loads and loads of laundry or just did whatever had to be done while talking because I couldn't, you know, put my kids in a room by themselves. That taught me so much, coming over and listening to you and how you parented has truly changed my life and how I parent, my relationship with my husband, my relationship with the Lord. That was a treasure. For me too. And me too. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, and then Anne-Marie lived with us. Yeah. You would always just open up the floor to just like talk and get to know me, you know? It was, it was oh, so easy to like That's great. be friends and, and d disciple each other, mm -hmm. you know? I was able to see the fruit of Jesus through you, of being like, it's okay to be honest and it's okay to be real and authentic and people won't get mad at you or tell you that like your feelings aren't valid. Like you care and you love me and you want me to be honest. It was always like, I accept you and I love you first, which I think is exactly what Jesus does to us. Yeah. I love you and I accept you and I understand you're sinful and I still want you and I still want to know you and care about you and love you. So you have like this authenticity that you allow other people to bring to you to then change the relationship to be really fruitful and truthful and, and growing together because that's, what, that's who you are. That's who, that's who God has made you, you know? Is this authentic person that just loves him so much that wants other people to feel loved by him. It takes the pressure off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for it to be, um, for you to see the Lord and what he's done and how he's changed our lives. And so then you can go and share that with others. And since the example is Jesus, then it's, okay to make mistakes in front of one another. You know, we can change together too. And then, you know, Jesus covers all. All multiple of sins, yeah. So indeed it is stumbling. <laughs> That's a relationship, is stepping out on a branch that you think might crack. That's friendship is being vulnerable and putting yourself out there. God made us to be in community together, to share our lives, the good and the bad. It's the, right, the suffering that you go through this so that you can teach someone else. Learning from those mistakes, sharing my ugly. Anita, you would pour wisdom into that and turn it around and I'd be able to see God in that ugly and see Him working for the good in it. And I feel like I learned the same things. Like I was able to see how you did your real authentic life. You invited me into that. And so like, I could see how you pursued Jesus to be more like him through you. Yeah, it's so clear to me that we can't do it alone mm -hmm. because it's those moments that are so, that have locked into my brain with community and with family that are so encouraging. Being able to talk with other people about the Bible and dive in, um, hear your thoughts and the different, what you get from different verses that gets me excited. And I can't do that without you guys. I can't do that without community. I really feel like you should, you know, have somebody older than you, someone your age, and then be pouring into someone who's younger. You would come over and I'd be so excited saying, look, you taught me all these things and look, I get to do them with Anne Marie. And then you would say, right, because someone taught me. I lived with another family. That is incredible to me that it's just the same generation after generation passing this on. Because it was so new to me in college. It was brand new to see a family focus solely on the word and then loving God and loving others. You saw that from Anita, but then I saw that from you. It is the learning back because you would encourage me so much. It is like that full circle of like, you know, we learn and then we share. Mm-hmm.